my hatred notwithstanding, I had to admit, Dmitri Bele whatever was pretty smart. After they'd carted us off to the airport and on to the Academy's private jet, he'd taken one look at the two of us whispering and ordered us separated. Don't let them talk to each other, he warned the guardian, who escorted me to the back of the plane. Five minutes together and they'll come up with an escape plan. I shot him a haughty look and stormed off down the aisle. Never mind the fact we had been planning escape. As it was, things didn't look good for our heroes, or heroines, rather. Once we were in the air, our odds of escape dropped further. Even supposing a miracle occurred, and I did manage to take out all ten guardians, we'd sort of have a problem in getting off the plane. I figured they might have parachutes aboard somewhere, but in the unlikely event I'd be able to operate one, there was still that little issue of survival, seeing as we'd probably land somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. No, we weren't getting off this plane until it landed in Backwoods, Montana. I'd have to think of something then, something that involved getting past the Academy's magical wards and ten times as many guardians. Yeah, no problem. Although Lissa sat in the front with the Russian guy, her fear sang back to me, pounding inside my head like a hammer. My concern for her cut into my fury. They couldn't take her back there, not to that place. I wondered if Dmitri might have hesitated if he could feel what I did, and if he knew what I knew. Probably not. He didn't care. As it was, her emotions grew so strong that for a moment I had the disorienting sensation of sitting in her seat. In her skin, even. It happened sometimes, and without much warning, she'd pull me right into her head. Dimitri's tall frame sat beside me, and my hand, her hand, gripped a bottle of water. He leaned forward to pick up something, revealing six tiny symbols tattooed on the back of his neck. Molnia marks. They looked like two streaks of jagged lightning, crossing in an X symbol. One for each strigoi he'd killed. Above them was a twisting line, sort of like a snake, that marked him as a guardian. The promise mark. Blinking, I fought against her and shifted back into my own head with a grimace. I hated when that happened. Feeling Lissa's emotions was one thing, but slipping into her was something we both despised. She saw it as an invasion of privacy, so I usually didn't tell her when it happened. Neither of us could control it. It was another effect of the bond, a bond neither of us fully understood. Legends existed about psychic links between guardians and their moroi, but the stories had never mentioned anything like this. We fumbled through it as best we could. Near the end of the flight, Dimitri walked back to where I sat and traded places with the guardian beside me. I pointedly turned away, staring out the window absentmindedly. Several moments of silence passed. Finally, he said, Were you really going to attack all of us? I didn't answer. Doing that, protecting her like that, it was very brave. He paused. Stupid, but still brave. Why did you even try it? I glanced over at him, brushing my hair out of my face so I could look him levelly in the eye. Because I'm her guardian. I turned back toward the window. After another quiet moment, he stood up and returned to the front of the jet, 